My name is Elaine Michel. I was born in Montreal, Quebec, Canada, and I now live in the United States. I'm Dr. Benno Michel, born in Romania. I'm a retired physician on the faculty at Case Western Reserve University in Dermatology and Skin Pathology. We've been involved with Hebrew University for over 50 years, ever since we met Dr. Yora Milner. In about 1970, I get a phone call from the Council of Foreign Relations asking me if we would be a host family to a postdoc. I said, by all means. He was from Hebrew University, an Israeli. His wife was as well. We became like a family and it was quite special when we were introduced to Hebrew University through him. We became close friends and actually we ended up collaborating. I was working in my laboratory and trying to develop a solution that would be used for sending skin biopsies around the world and I kept working on this project and failing and failing again and as the Yoram Milner kept visiting my laboratory and mentioned a chemical it's called ammonium sulfate the minute he said that we knew that had to be the answer we said that we calculated the formulation it worked and worked every time we were so excited and we published it and it's now 50 some years later it's still used around the world so the Hebrew University through Yoram and through us being a host family has had a tremendous impact on the practice of dermatology around the world. And it's been an amazing relationship with the Hebrew University and the American friends of the Hebrew University. The Hebrew University is considered the premier university in Israel. It's highly regarded around the world. There has to be a university that would prepare the future leadership of that state. And I think they've achieve their goals probably beyond all their expectations. But in the last 10 years or so, we've seen the growth of the university. More students, tremendous science, incredible programs in virology and in medicine and bioinformatics. The scientists transfer their knowledge and their discoveries to the society. Mobileye, which is probably one of the best known and most successful, but many other companies, and it's just been very gratifying to see the breadth of the science that's being offered to the university. The beauty of the university is that it seems to be agnostic as to what your religion is. If you want to study, and if you're serious about your studies, you're welcome. You know, we founded scholarship for pharmaceutical students. One year it went to an Israeli Arab young lady. Without the scholarship which she was receiving, she would not be able to study. Her parents were not wealthy people and we're so pleased that the university was supporting Arab students in this way. I lived in Romania until 1950 and as a Holocaust survivor, seeing our scholarship supporting a young Israeli Arab student confirmed the importance of the fact that we're all human. So that was the greatest thrill of my life. For me, the Hebrew University is the beacon of light in Israel and for the Jewish people and for the world. It's got an international reputation. It's growing all the time. It's doing good things. Why not support it? You hit the home run. You support students. You support faculty. You support the generation of new knowledge for the benefit of mankind. And you support the state of Israel, so how can you go wrong? <laughs>